Hello and welcome to Maritime Trading and Consultancy Master 200 and Master 500 Rule 10 Traffic Separation Scheme Presentation 10A This rule applies to traffic separation schemes adopted by the organisation and does not relieve any vessel of her obligation under any other rule. The rule for traffic separation scheme does not relieve any vessel of her obligation under any other rule. In other words, normal coal regs apply. Let's now have a look at an example. In this example, the blue vessel has the red vessel on her starboard side. This means that the blue vessel is the giveaway vessel and the red vessel is the stand-on vessel. In other words, normal coal regs apply. 10B1 A vessel using a traffic separation scheme shall proceed in the appropriate traffic lane in the general direction of traffic flow for that lane. In the diagram, the red and the blue vessel are proceeding in the appropriate traffic lane in the general direction of traffic flow for that lane. 10B2 So far as practical, keep clear of a traffic separation line or separation zone. The red vessels are close to the traffic separation zone and traffic separation line and are therefore incorrect. The blue vessel is clear of the traffic separation zone and the traffic separation line and is correct. 10B3 Normally join or leave a traffic lane at the termination of the lane but when joining or leaving from either side shall do so at as small an angle to the general direction of traffic flow as practical. The red vessel can be seen joining and leaving at the termination of the scheme at as small an angle as possible. The red vessel is also leaving at the side of the scheme at as small an angle as possible. The blue vessel is joining the scheme at the side at as small an angle as possible. 10C. A vessel shall, so far as practicable, avoid crossing traffic lanes, but, if obliged to do so, shall cross on a heading as nearly as practicable at right angles to the general direction of traffic flow. This means that routes A and D are OK, as they are on a heading at right angle to the flow of traffic. Route B and route C are wrong as they are not on a heading at right angles to the flow of traffic. 10D1 A vessel shall not use an inshore traffic zone when she can safely use the appropriate traffic lane within the adjacent traffic separation scheme. However, vessels of less than 20 metres in length, sailing vessels and vessels engaged in fishing may use the inshore traffic zone. 10D2 Notwithstanding subparagraph D1, a vessel may use an inshore traffic zone when en route to or from a port, offshore installation or structure, pilot station or any other place situated within the inshore traffic zone, or to avoid immediate danger. The red vessel is departing the traffic separation scheme to embark a pilot. The blue vessel is en route between port A and port B which are on the inshore zone. Vessels may leave the traffic separation scheme to avoid immediate danger. 10E. A vessel other than a crossing vessel or a vessel joining or leaving a lane shall not normally enter a separation zone or cross a separation line except in cases of emergency to avoid immediate danger to engage in fishing within the separation zone. 10F A vessel navigating in areas near the termination of traffic separation schemes shall do so with particular caution. This is because terminations of traffic separation schemes are usually areas of very high traffic density, so particular caution should be exercised when navigating near them. 
10G. A vessel shall, as far as practicable, avoid anchoring in a traffic separation scheme or in areas near its termination. This is, again, because these areas are of high traffic density. 10H. A vessel not using a traffic separation scheme shall avoid it by as wide a margin as practicable. 10I. A vessel engaged in fishing shall not impede the passage of any vessel following a traffic lane. This means that a fishing vessel must comply with rule 8F and take early action to allow sufficient sea room for the safe passage of the other vessel. 10J. A vessel of less than 20 metres in length or a sailing vessel shall not impede the safe passage of a power driven vessel following a traffic lane. Again, these vessels, as per Rule 8F, need to take early action to allow sufficient sea room for the safe passage of the other vessel. 10K. A vessel restricted in her ability to manoeuvre when engaged in an operation for the maintenance of safety of navigation in a traffic separation scheme is exempt from complying with this rule to the extent necessary to carry out the operation. Vessels engaged in an operation for the maintenance of safety of navigation and which are exhibiting the lights or shapes prescribed in Rule 27B may thus be exempt from compliance with Rule 10 and may even be justified in proceeding in a direction opposite to the general direction of traffic flow in a traffic lane. However, they are expected to comply with Rule 10 whenever possible. 10L. A vessel restricted in her ability to manoeuvre when engaged in an operation for the laying, servicing or picking up of a submarine cable within a traffic separation scheme is exempted from complying with this rule to the extent necessary to carry out the operation. A vessel laying, servicing or picking up a submarine cable and which are exhibiting the lights or shapes prescribed in Rule 27B may thus be exempt from compliance with Rule 10 and may even be justified in proceeding in a direction opposite to the general direction of traffic flow in a traffic lane. However, they are expected to comply with Rule 10 whenever possible. For more information about our Master 200 and Master 500 exam preparation courses, visit www.master200.info or telephone 087 707 9989.